welcome back to another KSP tutorial. Today I'm actually going to be covering the uh, mods that I would recommend. So pretty much it is a mods recommendation in uh, my order of which way I would put mods. Of course I won't be putting or I won't be recommending millions of other mods. I will pretty much be recommending I think the ones that should maybe be coming out with the game as default. So this, th this should be pretty cool. So let's start off with the first thing. First thing we'll start off with the editor extension. Uh, before I do that, just to let you know, all the things uh, that I'll be mentioning, of course, will be available in the description. So check out the description. Now, the editor extension overall will, of course, uh, bring you quite a lot of extra things that you can do with uh, while you're in the actual editor. Of course, you do see the symmetry has suddenly changed. You do see the actual amount of symmetry. You do see the angle snapping. You, of course, have a lot of uh, shortcuts with the actual editor extension, such as you can reset the symmetry. You can actually toggle part clippings. You know, you can you can do a lot of things in the editor extension. So I would recommend this to be the first mod that you should install on to your uh, Kerbal Space program. But one of the main functions it's. Uh, many many uh, various angles of snap on and of course the one thing that everybody loves is the actual symmetry so uh, the symmetry can pretty much go up to times 50 which is absolutely insane so I'm just trying to find something that I could pretty much stick on this thing that I can actually multiply it by 50 um, let's go with the actual stock parts let's go with the miniature miniature parts and let's take a look at that so that's one and that's two that's Okay, we are in the actual uh, airplane section, so let's jump to our uh, spaceship section where we can do it a hell of a lot quicker. So here we go, we do have, for example, this, let's say, and then we will stick on a storage unit, let's say a monopropellant storage unit. And now we will stick on propulsion. Let's stick on these. Now shift X. There you go. 8 times 8 times 7 times 9 times 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20. It goes all the damn way to 50. So this is a pretty cool thing. The Of course, the editor extension does quite quite a lot of other stuff. I would suggest you guys take a look at it. Uh, as well as making just the whole thing a little bit smoother. You know, it makes, uh, it actually shows you the number. It shows you the angle snapping. You can change the angle snapping directly up to 90 degrees. So that's really cool. And a lot of other cool stuff. So just take a look at that. Now, the second mod I would recommend for you to install is called the Part Catalog mod. Now, this I would say is a must-have with the editor extension. Uh, the part catalog, as you see, is pretty much really cool. It actually categorizes and subcategorizes all your mods that you have installed on the site. So, of course, you can set it up, and you can pretty much you can pretty much set up and uh, create uh, your own sort of part catalog with only the items that you're interested in, and just create your own uh, sub subgroup as well so you can add your own subgroup with only the parts that you pretty much are using but uh, by default when this uh, mod is installed it'll ask you of course to uh, settings you can go to settings and you can actually tell it where to be placed that's why I've placed it up here I, I can't seem to figure out how the hell to get those settings up there but you do get you are able the moment you launch you can set up where you want the actual uh, tabs to be so I did place it on the top left and of course you have all the types of mods avionic lights b9 and you can see that it's categorized in terms of propulsion storage structural aerodynamics and you have those subcategorized as well so it really makes things organized so of course you can see the uh, squad the stock parts on the bottom and if I want if I'm only if I'm interested in all of them let's say I'm interested in I don't know uh, aerodynamical unit you know, control surfaces that being flaps and stuff so it ch shows me all the flaps and control surfaces from all the mods or I can just pick the specific one B9 and aerodynamics control surfaces so it just shows me the control surfaces for B9 so again this is a really really cool uh, mod to have and I would highly recommend to have this from the beginning as for the third mod that I would recommend would be the B9 aerospace pack. Of course this thing brings a lot of extra things to the actual player. You do have a couple of new pods. You have of course mainly a couple of new uh, liquid engines including some storage, a lot of utilities, some science factors I think. 
and you just generally it, it gives you a lot of additional things you have a couple of spotlights as well so really the b9 pack brings a lot of stuff to the actual game itself of course you have cargo bays as well so uh, really a lot of stuff comes with the b9 pack and it does tweak up a couple of values for the actual game uh, generally so it does make a few things more realistic a few things more uh, i don't know stable I guess it does stable out a couple of values for the game itself. So again, this is the third mod that I would recommend for you guys to have is the B9 Aerospace Pack. Now for the fourth mod, what I would recommend is procedural fairings. This is a wonderful thing in terms of if you want to create a fairing for anything you pretty much have. So you have different bases of fairings, different sizes, different diameters of the actual base size of your fairing. So let me just give you an example. So if I stick that here. And then let's say I stick some random structure that I built here. You do see it pretty much automatically adjusts the fairing size to it. Now, of course, the cool thing about this is it makes the ship more aerodynamic. So that that's really nice. So, uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. That, that's what you could do with this little thing. Of course, this is highly recommended as a lot of possibilities do come about when you do create these fairings. So there you go. You get a more aerodynamic uh, ship itself when you are transporting your randomly shaped objects on top of your spaceships or space planes or whatever the hell. You can put some really cool fairings with it. Now, the fourth in line would be the CAS, the Kerbal Attachment Systems. Now, this is a pretty useful thing because the actual CAS is pretty much allowing you to build a crane of various sorts. I will, of course, attach in the description as well the, tu the tutorial that I made for CAS, as well as other mods that I made tutorials for. So you'll pretty much be able to make a crane that can lift, pull, tug, help around quite a lot. And the cool thing also with CAS is that you can use to attach this to one of your ships in case you forgot to attach a docking port to one of your other ships and you'd like to refuel it. You can have your ship that has the CAS system, the Kerbal attachment system to fly up to your ship and you can deploy one of your Kerbals and stick one of the actual uh, dismountable radial connector ports, stick it onto your target ship that doesn't have a docking port and actually refuel it. So this is also a really cool advantage when you are using the CAS. But of course, mainly the cool thing is it'll help you to move around, build stuff, drag stuff and lift stuff while in orbit, maybe even hover down with your actual ship and pick up one of your rovers and then just fly off with it. So, or you can of, of course use it to dock pull your uh, space stations closer and so on and so forth. So this is actually a really, really useful mod that you, I would highly recommend for you to use. Now, next up would be the uh, Keythane pack. The Keythane pack, of course, brings a massive new world to the Kerbal Space Program. You actually get to mine gas, that being Keythane. Of course, you have various components for you to mine gas. Now, again, this, of course, uh, affects uh, the gameplay in general. Now, you don't anymore uh, have the game where you explore space, you actually have a game where you actually need to mine, convert resources, you can use that resource to create more fuel, and uh, you can have mining bases throughout the planetary system. So again, the Keythane pack would be highly recommended for you guys to use. Now, of course, what point would there be in having a the capability to have mining bases all over the solar system if you can't build ships on those solar systems. So of course the uh, other mod that I would recommend is your extraplanetary launch pad. It's a portable very nice launch pad that you can build throughout the solar system. You can of course get the components and build them wherever the hell you want. So it's really cool. Of course you have drills. This time the uh, to build components you need to mine for ore as well as metal. So it's a really cool exoplanetary launch pad mod to have with your, of course, Keythane pack mod as well. So this is something I would recommend you guys to have in case you are really planning to expand out and build bases and mining bases and, of course, continue to build ships on those planets and launch from those planets. It's a really, really nice mod to have. May not look the best thing, but so far it is as close as it will get to being able to build your own ships on other planets. Now, the eighth recommended mod, what I would suggest you guys install, or girls, is the uh, TAC fuel balancer. Now, this is a very, very useful thing, especially when you're having uh, spaceships or building spaceships, or you're just just normal planes or SSTOs, whatever the hell you want to call it. As long as you're building planes, big planes, even larger planes, this is a must-have mod, because, of course, this balances all the fuel on your plane, so all the tanks are the same. So... It's really easy, you just pick what you want to balance and you just click balance all and that's pretty much it. Now, of course you can further customize it by checking out the options per tank. But anyways, this is a recommended mod I would suggest you guys install if you are in for planes, building planes. Attack fuel balancer is really key to keep your center of mass behind your center of lift at all times.
And now our ninth mod being the uh, fire spitter propeller and uh, planes mod. This is really useful because you do you get to completely expand the actual gameplay again, but in a completely different dimension. You do get to have propellers, you do get to have props, you do get to have a lot of various things you can do with this. You can make helicopters, you can make big helicopters, you can even make... Uh, there's a couple of flotillas, so you can actually make, I don't think that was a component, you can maybe even make some hovercrafts if you're really smart, you could do that as well. You know, you can really do a lot of things with this actual expansion, it even has, as I said, flotillas, so you can make yourself some boats as well. So uh, check out the link below, you'll actually see a promotion video for this, it's really cool, I suggest you guys watch the promotion video for this. Again, this pretty much expands the possibilities quite quite a lot there's even foldable propellers if i'm not mistaken foldable main propellers for this actual mod itself so that's really really cool that you can actually have a mini mini helicopter and the actual propellers main propellers unfold so that's really nice i would highly suggest you guys add this as well as it'll dramatically increase your gameplay in many many ways and of course what point is there in terms of being able to balance your fuel on large planes or being able to build helicopters if you can't see them at night that's why you will install your avionics uh, lighting uh, mod as well this of course adds various lights you can put blue you can put red you can put white you can put green as well you can stick them on anywhere you want you can uh, cycle between different mods it can flash it can stay lit it can you know strobe strobe flash slower strobe fat faster you know so it's, it's really cool you can stick them all over your plane and I would say this is uh, it, this this thing should be stock but both cases it's uh, re really cool that you can actually use it as it is, so uh, I would suggest that you guys add this as well. Now, what's the point of being able to balance your fuel and being able to light up your plane if you don't even know if it'll take off? So, my next mod would of course be to recommend you guys install the Kerbal Engineer mod, and uh, this pretty much tells you uh, a lot of information about your flight, especially, well, the main thing what I use it for is to tell me the uh, thrust-to-weight ratio. Now, the thrust-to-weight ratio, of course, is uh, how much power you have in relation to your weight. So, of course, I have 2.7, so I pretty much can power my ship very, very easily, so it should be able to take off. i got plenty of power for it to take off. If you have anything below 1.0, your thrust-to-weight ratio is uh, very, very weak. So, uh, this is, again, another thing that I would, of course, highly recommend you guys use. Of course, it does a lot of other stuff as well, so uh, you expert Kerbal players will really enjoy this mod. Now all that is great to have on your plane but just to top it off to give that nice icing on the cake or that actually cherry on top is to have the procedural dynamics installed or the procedural wing dynamics however the hell you like to call it. Now this is a really must have in terms of having your actual wings on your plane because why? Because you can pretty much customize your actual wings themselves so uh, it's a really cool thing to have. And, uh, you know, might as well. Why not? Why not make custom wings on your actual planes? So, uh, let's do that, shall we? Let's just do a, a quick... A quick version of what you can do if you want to customize your wings. There you go. You can do quite a lot of things with this. You can do quite a lot of things with this, so we can make them bigger and bigger and bigger or wider. You can do pretty much whatever the hell you want. So this is a great add-on. Well, this sort of summarizes all the mods I would recommend. Of course, there are plenty of more mods that, of course, increase the game play playability and the experience substantially. Uh, just to throw in a few, you have the hybrid engine pack. Of course, all of these will be also available in the description below, but I won't be showing you guys these. The hybrid engine pack will pretty much add a crap load of uh, iron engine packs. It's an iron engine pack, so you're going to have a lot of iron engine engines added to your actual stock so uh, from smaller to larger because currently you just have a really really small one then you have the kw rocketry which is a massive amount of uh, new engines that you get for your uh, liquid liquid engines and parts as well and then i think you do have also the cosmos space station pack that gives you a crap load of space station parts that's really cool if you guys really enjoy your space station and love building it then i would suggest you guys take a look at the cosmos space Cosmos Space Station Parts Pack, I can't even speak. 
too many damn letters there, man. And then, of course, you do have the chatter. The chatter is, is actually pretty cool. I could maybe show you guys this one. Let's just load up a small ship. The chatter will actually uh, gives just random chatter between the actual uh, whatever plane and the, the base or or between the people on board. So it gives a little bit of uh, liveliness to the gameplay itself. I did realize that it is nice in the beginning, but uh, after a little bit of time playing with the chatter on, it does start to bug you. So... Uh, I do have it on mute, but for uh, this example, I did keep it on. You do have the chatter, and uh, you'll just hear him talking randomly once in a while. So why don't we just listen to them? You heard that? So they just randomly blurt out random stuff, depending on random times. Like there you go. And uh, this is it for our uh, mod recommendations by AMG. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys later. Take care. Bye.